Good morning, everyone. Today is Sunday, the 24th of February, 2019. It's about a quarter till nine. We're going to be having our services this morning at 10 o'clock. You're welcome to join us. We're also going to be having our services at six o'clock this evening. Brother Mark Kennedy and Brother Carl Roberts will be with us during those two services. Thus saith the Lord God, I will yet for this be inquired of. Ye have not, because ye ask not. Ask, and it shall be given you. Good morning, Brock Morgan. Good to see you this morning. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh receiveth. And he that seeketh findeth. And him that knocketh it shall be opened. Good morning, Chuck, Tammy, uh, Michael. This is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have that petition that we have desired of him. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. Open thy mouth wide, and I will fill it. Men ought always to pray, and not to faint. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. The Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. You shall ask in my name, and I say not unto you that I will pray the Father for you. For the Father himself loveth you, because he hath loved me. Ask, and you, will, you shall receive, and your joy shall be full. There are That was a number of scriptures put together by the daily light regarding this aspect of petitioning the Lord. Well, this morning, I hope that you have a good weekend. I hope you have a good Lord's Day. And good morning, Rick, Ricky Gantz. Good to see you this morning. Christ said, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. What a declaration is this. The baby in swaddling clothes, born in a manger, to the Pharisees could not have said anything stranger. Blasphemy, they cried, you deserve to die. Christ didn't at all deserve it, but he did it for I. Predestination unto adoption, what a marvelous act. On the part of God Almighty, it was an eternal pact. Between the Holy Spirit, the Father and Son, adopting me in their family before I was even born. I'm glad that I don't have to trust in my own faith and belief. This certainly would not give me any relief. But to trust in the faith of Christ, dear Son, given to me by the three in one, oh, my friend, that, that brings comfort beyond description. That's part and parcel of the gift of Asian. To be given the faith of Christ and the merits of his Son, his faith never fails the victory he has won. His faith never has and never will fail or falter. His, fail is, his faith is stronger than the rock of Gibraltar. Well, this next one is entitled, A Marching to Zion. You know, since Trump was elected, we he put our embassy over in Jerusalem from Tel Aviv. Christ, you know, he said that his kingdom was not of this world. They're trying to set up an earthly kingdom over there where they can rule the world. We're marching to Zion, and this march is led by God's dear son. This pilgrimage is not to a physical place. But looking for a city, the new Jerusalem. Coming down out of heaven, prepared for the bride. This Zion's a place to eternally abide. Many try to make Zion a physical place where rejection of Christ is an utter disgrace. But I'm marching to Zion, a spiritual place. Well, I'm going to end today with uh, just a thank you. Thank you, Lord, for giving me eternal life amid all this strife. When evil is so prevalent, you could cut it like a knife. When Satan and his minions mock me and say I'm doomed, I see your hands and feet and view the empty tomb. I can never thank you enough for dying in my stead. I have eternal life, not damnation. 
instead. Well, I hope today finds you in good stead as well. And the good Lord be with you this Lord's day. God bless.